Now, after understanding how these subatomic particles were discovered, let us first do the properties of subatomic particles. The electrons are given symbol E and usually we write minus here or minus 1 because the charge is minus 1 and uh, they are having a charge of minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs which is also called minus 1 unit and they also have a mass which is very very small which is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg or which I have told you in terms of AMU or mass unit or unified mass is 1837 unified mass. Then let us talk about protons. Protons are given symbol P plus 1 and or we simply call them P. The charge on these particles is plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs which is also called plus 1 unit charge and their mass is exactly 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. As for the NCRD, it is exactly 1.67. Many times we can take it is usually it is taken 1.66, but as for NCRD, it is 1.67. Then in terms of unified mass, it is actually 1.00. 727. It's 727 unified mass, which is actually is approximately taken as one unit, one unified mass unit. Then the last fundamental particle, subatomic particle, is, is your neutron given symbol N. This neutron is having no, no charge, it is neutral in nature and mass on this particle is or mass of this particle is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. So, it is very similar to the proton, but it is 1.00867. The proton was 727, it is 867. So, it is very slightly heavier than the proton. In terms of unified mass, it was it is this much, which is usually is taken as again 1U or 1 unified mass unit. So, these are the basic fundamental properties of these subatomic particles. Now, after understanding these, let us now move to the structures of the atoms.